One of the questions I'm often asked is, what's the difference between buying a diamond from me versus buying a diamond at a jewelry store? Now, that's a short question with a long answer. So let me start by giving you my background. Uh, I am a third generation diamond dealer. My parents were diamond dealers for 30 plus years. Uh, my great uncles, uncles, uh, going back for almost 100 years in my family, uh, we've been in the diamond business. And we are specialists in the world of diamonds. So in other words, if you walk into a jewelry store, a jeweler has to be knowledgeable about diamonds and rubies and sapphires and emeralds and peridot and tourmaline and topaz and turquoise, uh, gold and platinum and silver. Oh, and let's not forget Rolex and Brettling and Cartier and Paddock and Chopard, etc., etc., etc. They can't possibly have a depth of knowledge on all of these topics. It's not realistic. Nor can they have a depth of inventory. Just think about what your diamond ring will cost. Now imagine you're a jeweler and you have to buy 100 of them. And now you have to buy 200 Rolexes. And now you have to buy 50 rubies and 30 sapphires. It's just not possible for a jewelry store to stock that much inventory. It would be millions and millions and millions of dollars. So a jewelry store, by its nature, has to be a generalist, whereas I'm a specialist. Now, do I work in other stones? Yeah, of course I do. Do I work in watches? Sure. I do that with colleagues of mine who, for example, if I need a Rolex, I know who to call to get a great deal on a Rolex. And he calls me when he needs a deal on a diamond. My expertise is diamonds and diamond jewelry. So I'm a specialist in that area. What that means is a few things. I can show more selection of diamonds than any jewelry store ever could because it's what I stock. It's all I stock. My safe is filled with diamond jewelry and not a little bit of a whole bunch of stuff. The other uh, difference between me and a jewelry store is I'm not a retailer. If you come to my office, you'll see there's no showroom, there's no showcases, there's no chandeliers, there's no marble floors, there's no perfect lighting that's been meticulously designed. There's, there's none of the uh, hoopla that you're, you're going to see walking into a Tiffany or a Harry Winston. Um, as a result, my pricing is very different than what you might be used to in a retail environment. I'll give you an example. I have a client who has a palatial jewelry store in Florida, really a beautiful, beautiful store. And uh, he does a great job and he's, he's excellent. He treats his customers very well. But I remember asking him one time, I said, listen, I know because you've told me that every diamond I sell you, you mark up 65%. In other words, if I sell this guy a diamond for $10,000, it's going in his showcase for $16,500. So I said to him, man, how do you sleep at night, you know, marking up the way that you do? And he looked at me and he said, Dan, never mind for a minute what I pay in overhead, in rent for my store. What about my payroll of 30 people? What about my insurance? What about the fact that I have, I have to pay you and I have to pay my Rolex guy and my Sapphire guy and my Pearl guy, et cetera, et cetera. But put all that aside. He said, I spend $5,000 every day advertising. TV, radio, bus sides, billboards, you name it, he does it. He says to me, Dan, if I don't charge what I charge, I can't keep the lights on. I'm out of business. And it's a fair point. I, on the other hand, go the other way. I have a small office. My furniture is from Ikea. I'm not proud. Uh, I'd rather keep it small, keep it reasonable, and pass that on to my customer. So the value proposition is very different buying from me. And the level of expertise in this subject area is different than what you can expect at a, at a retail store. Uh, no jeweler can, can spend the amount of time training in diamonds that I've spent because they have to divide their time. I specialize. I don't know everything about everything, but about what I know, I know better than most. Another differentiator between me and a jewelry store is a jewelry store is a place that exists in the world, and if you want to work with them, that's where you go. I, on the other hand, am a concierge business, so wherever you are, if it's at all possible, I'll come to you. I'll give you a for instance. I was working with a client uh, last week who lives in the San Francisco Bay Area and was in town briefly, so we met up and talked about a few things. And I'm getting to work on a ring design, uh, but it's not practical for her to come back down to do sizings, whatever, and to, to receive her ring. So as it turns out, I'm, I'm pleased and lucky to say that I happen to be a pilot, so and when her ring is ready in a few weeks, I'm going to jump in the plane and fly it up to her. Now, is that something I do every day? No, but I'm glad to do it. And I like to work with my clients where they are. I like to show diamonds to clients, if possible, in their homes so that you can see the way your ring will look in your lighting, in your house, 
uh, in your own comfort zone. Buying an expensive item like a diamond is, is intimidating enough without me sucking you out into a strange place. So if I can work with you where you are, I love to do that. Thank you.